All right, this video is a how to use Lambo Dash. Same uh, applies to Digi Dash, RPE Speed, 720S, and RPE Dash apps that I have in iTunes currently. All right, so after you connect your OBD2 scan tool into your OBD2 port, you're gonna select your settings here, and you're gonna go into your Wi-Fi section. Now this application mm -hmm. only works for a OBD2 with Wi-Fi. It does not work with the OBD2 with Bluetooth. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select OBD2. It should show you a little check mark on there showing that everything is good to go. All right, we're gonna bounce out of there. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up Lambo Dash. Now, as you can see here, this is the interface for the application. You got your fuel over here. You have your coolant. Uh, we have the air intake that we set up there and coolant down here in yellow. You have your miles per hour in the center. You have your miles per hour gauge. Um, you have the start and you have Corsa. So when you tap on Corsa, it's gonna bring you to the um, similar screens that you see in a, on an Aventador. All right, so we're gonna select Sport up here in the top left corner to go back and we're gonna go ahead and start this application. Now all you have is your start, stop. You have your information button to take you to the website to show you how to troubleshoot the application if it's not working for you properly. And this works on any um, application that I have in the app in the iTunes store for the digital dashboard. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start to get the OBD2 started. And you're gonna see everything change, all the gauges and everything are gonna work. All right, so we're at zero, all the gauges are proper. You see the fuel's at 50%. If you look at my fuel gauge here on the vehicle, it's a little bit under 50. Um, everything is set up. Now I'm running this application on a 2016 Subaru Legacy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the vehicle in drive and we're in a dark road here, so we don't have to worry about traffic while we're shooting this video. Now we started, we're just gonna go ahead and hit the gas. And as you see, yeah, the dash is working. You'll see the uh, kilometer gauge working. You see all the other gauges. All right. Little bumpy road here that I'm on. stop sign here and I'm going to show how the Corsa mode works here in a second. All this information that's on the application is all real time. So if you're looking at it, comparing it to your speedometer, you're going to see all that information on there to match up exactly as long as the OBD2 scan tool is working. Because if it falls out of place or anything like that, then of course you're going to lose all connections and you're going to have issues. All right, let's go ahead and put this in the course of mode. Now we're in zero. You see the RPM gauge, everything's all set up. And we're going to go ahead and drive. All right, here we go. See the RPMs going up, speed going up there. Now on the Corsa page, all you're going to see on there is your oil temperature in the bottom left. You have your coolant on the right along with the fuel. And of course your miles per hour and your uh, RPMs and this is basically matching that of a uh, Lamborghini Aventador. Now, this is the only application that you're going to find in iTunes for an iPhone. I have a uh, iPad version that I'll be releasing in about a week or so. Uh, so stay tuned to that. Any questions please contact me at eric at empireappdesigns.com. Uh, you can also go to my webpage empireappdesigns.com and uh, thank you very much for watching.